Okay, this one's going to be for Gemini for the end of October. For Gemini for the end of October. How you doing, Gemini? Is it caramel apples I'm tasting, Gemini? Smell them. What do you have for Gemini for the end of October, Spirit? Five. Thank you. Podverti. Family room. High honors. Distant Horizon and Courtship. Right off the bat, I am seeing that you're furious. You are furious that you've been working hard at your job, real hard, 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 hard. Hard enough to have the highest honor of roles there is, okay? But it seems like, you know, you and whoever talk and, and you're like, well, you know, I've been working real hard here and I still, I, I've got this, uh, this set of files here, papers stacked this high. As soon as I get them done, I need a break so I can spend some time with my family. And whoever's above you or around you're like, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's great. That's good. Just get that one. And once you get every single one of them done, here come. Oh, I'm sorry, but I've got this new stack of papers over here that I need done now. And, and you're really pissed off about it because you really want to spend some time with your family. You're sick and tired of it. Somebody's always coming at you with some kind of crap is what I'm saying. What about the poverty? for Gemini for the end of October. I mean, you're almost at the point when you're saying, S screw it, I'm taking the time with my family. I don't care if you get mad or not. You want to fire me? Fire me. But you're also over here at the end, at the end of this, and I'm, a, I'm talking about like a couple days later, you're thinking in your head, man, if Christmas is coming up, I really need this damn job. I got to be able to buy my family some stuff. So you feel chained. You feel a little chained. In poverty, please. Thank you. Yeah, chariot in reverse. You don't feel like it is moving in the direction that you want it to go at the moment or as fast as you want to go. Family room. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. High honors, please. High honors. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the distant horizon. I'm seeing a promise broken. This is for a male. I'm seeing a promise broken to your wife. You promised her that you would spend some time with the family. And I, I'm seeing her heart feeling broken because she really misses you. Uh, clarify distant horizon, please. Thank you. Ace of Cups in reverse. Clarify courtship, please. Clarify courtship. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Of course she's not mad at you. I mean, her yeah, her heart's broken. But her heart's not broken at you. Her heart is broken at your job. Here's the family room. Okay, Gemini? This is your family. This is your job. She sees you, family, as in the upright. She's not heartbroken at you. She's heartbroken at your job.
she feels that with the job that you have, that you were chained to, okay, that there's no, there's no time for her. Ace of Cups in reverse, or no time for her and the rest of the family. But, you know, in the end, in the end, you have the courtship, and you have the Nine of Pentacles. So you're going to make time. You're going to make time. You're going to make an, a strategic plan, is what I see. It's a very strategic plan for you to have a whole entire week with your family. Right. Do you have anything else for Gemini for the end of October? Pinnacles in reverse, and the four swords, and the lovers. That's you, Gemini. Give me one. Wow, you just tried to turn the deck upside down on me. Give me one on the lovers. One on Gemini. You have the Five of Swords and the Four of Pentacles over here. You have the Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Swords. Now I'm seeing you kind of have some kind, there's some, there's some kind of deal, some kind, some kind of paperwork. This is the paperwork. It's in reverse. Uh, There was an agreement. There wasn't a plan. I'm seeing that the person is not honoring the plan. They're not honoring the plan. Uh, let's see how that turns out. On that Three of Pentacles in reverse, that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, on the high honors. Thank you. Main male. Anything else? Anything else? Toils and labor. Okay. Uh, for some, I'm getting... There's someone else's influence here. There's someone else's influence that is pushing this work on you. Other than this person over here that keeps handing you the sack of the papers. There's someone behind them saying, Oh. Take that over to such and such. You should take that over to such that man. They're good at it. They are the best. They they're gonna get the job done and get it done right. Better, probably better. We can go ahead and take it over to them so everybody can get a raise. That's not why they're doing it. They're doing it to pile the paperwork on you so you get frustrated. Possibly so you quit your job. Just to antagonize you, too. I'm seeing a man that wants to antagonize you. He's throwing stuff out there. He's throwing stuff out there. It's like... It's almost like... <clears throat> it's almost like you're a groundskeeper, okay? And your job is to go around and clean all the garbage cans out. Uh, make sure the walkways are clean of any debris. Make sure you ain't looking around at a bunch of old paper laying on the ground. And you'll get this side of the campus clean. And you head over to the other side in the parking lot. And he comes right behind you and wads up some paper and throws it out here. He even goes as much. Goes as much as to reaching into the trash to where you have picked up all the cigarette butts from all the jerks who threw them on the ground, grabs a handful, 
and just starts walking through and tossing them out too. So he is actually throwing extra work out there to have you have all this other crap to do too. Now why is this person doing this? Because that's the vision you put in my head. Thank you. Knight of Swords in reverse. To slow you down. To slow you down so you can't move forward in the progress that you are making. That's why this Chariot's in reverse. That's why this Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And I, out, just out of blatantly, out of my mind over here, I put the Knight of Swords up underneath of it that's in reverse. So, to slow you down. What can Gemini do to get rid of this human obstacle so they don't throw ops, throw paper and cigarette butts on the ground anymore and make their work harder. What can Jim and I do? Ten of Cups in the sun. I'm hearing work faster. Ignore them. And if you're the actual janitor, you know, it, what I got, the picture in my mind I got when I asked the question is before you were walking around picking up all this stuff, I'm getting that now that you're, you've got a scooter <laughs> and you got one of them little grab things and you're, and you reach down and you scoop it up and throw it. And you say, yeah, you're going a little bit. You have a hat. You've got something, a a motor vehicle, motor cave, something moving faster so you can get the job done. Don't let them slow you down. Don't let them hold you back is what I'm hearing. It's just obstacles and putting your way to slow you down, hold you back. Move past and move faster. Get you a scooter. All right, let's see if I see anything else into these. That was crazy. <laughs> wow. I'm also hearing if you have, say, there's someone you're in a fuss with about something. Uh, so you got some paperwork here. So you got some paperwork right here. And you sign the paperwork and they sign the paperwork in an agreement, okay? And somehow, for some reason, the agreement one person didn't do and the other person didn't do or one person did and the other person didn't do. And so one person called the other person back in and says, okay, we can talk about it. I'm getting, hold that off. Because it seems like the more eager you are to talk about it, the less likely they are to make a deal on it. To actually come to agreements to actually do what the heck was written on the paper. What they signed their name to. Just tell them, okay, uh, Say, so, say so they say, okay, today is Monday. Let's talk about it Wednesday. And you tell me, okay, you know what? Let's talk about it. And that Wednesday is say November the eleventh. Say, okay, um, well, I'm a little bit busy, so let's make it December the third. We'll talk about it. Okay. You know, I got a lot of people to talk to and a lot of things to do. Let's, let's, let's make it December 3rd. That way you can think on it and see what you want to do. And that right there, 
that right there is going to get it the way you want it done. And when you do this, it will also make that, that week for your family. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I see. Don't be so eager to make deals with someone who has already disappointed you. Because I'm seeing when you make the deals too soon that you will be disappointed yet again. Holding off will show that you are wise to their crookedness, the wise, to their, how would you say that? Wise to their ideas to null something again, to, to not do something again. It's kind of like, oh, he called me in the day after when we come back and look at the paperwork, make sure I want to sign it. So I just signed again, go do what the hell I did the first time. I can do what I want to. He'll call me in every other Tuesday. <laughs> Occupation, courthouse, and imprisonment in reverse. So there's some kind of judgment legality that you're in that's going to go in your favor. But you already knew that. I'm getting you already knew that. That was just one of them obstacles that somebody threw in front of you. Oh, he... He owed me $5, so I took him to court for it. Did you ask him for it? No, nah, I just figured I'd take him to court for it. You know, waste a little bit more of his time. That's what I see. All right, blessings to you, Gemini. I've already did your November reading, so... I'll see you, I guess, the first week of November is how, you know, I could do it the first part of November, middle, and the end. Blessings.